Pennsylvania, and we're just thankful the pastor opened up the church to us this evening. Uh, as we're up here tonight, we'll have some songs to turn into your hymnal to sing along with us, because when we come to any church, we don't come to entertain, so I hope that's not disappointing. We come to worship the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. with you all. So even if we don't have you turn to a page, Feel free to sing along. Oh, yes. If it's too loud, because it's, it's always a little different up here. If it gets too loud out there, just give us a little wave and we'll cut it back. <laughs> well, I am so surprised. For the first time ever, we're live stream on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited. We're movie stars. Wow. <laughs> You people on Facebook, tell everybody about us. Come on and watch the show tonight. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a good time. We have some good old gospel. And we're going to be speaking about God and how great he really is. Come see us here on Facebook. Don't hesitate. Have a good time. Like us. Please, I mean, don't hate us. Like us. Like us everywhere. We want, we want you to be listening over in Israel, too. Amen? There we go. Yeah. All right. This first song is... Uh, whew, well, before I introduce that, we need we need to warm up. You know you have to warm up first, right? Mm -hmm. But we need your your help to warm up. So, how many singers do we have? How many singers do we have? Oh my gosh! All right, <clears throat> clear your throats. Here we go. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Amen. Amen. They just ate two. <laughs> they didn't know what I was going to sing, so now they know we're doing it. <laughs> now you're ready. ready? Amen. 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 See, that was good. This first song is uh, one of my faves. Now, my goodness gracious, we've been singing this for like a thousand years, and we just have a good time singing it. And it, it just reminds me just how much we should love. Jesus and be excited about Jesus. That's it. Yes. Amen. Yep. By amen. saying amen. amen. By hooping and hollering. Amen. And jumping up and down. Yes. I'm amen. excited. Why? Because Jesus died on the cross just God. for me. And he forgave me. Mm -hmm. And he forgives you. Yes. Now, how many times have you been to a ball game? any kind of game at all and they get so excited so excited about what's going on and then somebody's running the goal and they they run and they run and they run and people are jumping up and down out of their seats and they're screaming like like they're getting paid a thousand dollars to do that or something i don't know we don't we don't get it we we're, were staying with the mayor in a town years ago that he invited us to stay while we we're singing at their church and the mayor was there, and some of the people from the church were there, and they were watching the ball game. We're sitting there enjoying ourselves with all the food, of course. <laughs> and what happened? Somebody did some something fantastic in the game, and we're like, what just happened? It's like, what? Well, what's so exciting about that? I think it's more exciting that Jesus died on the Amen. cross for me. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. Thank you, brother. Now you're going to get excited because this song is very exciting. It's called Stand and Praise the Lord. There's a holy sensation to stand and praise the Lord. Let all the congregation stand and praise the Lord. 
In Romans 8, 28, it tells us, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Not our purpose. His purpose. Especially the two in Atlanta, Georgia. 
Yay. We've got so many stories from the road that God is good all the time. It's unreal. But right now we've got a prayer request for you, real quick, and, and that is uh, your noise over here. That is uh, for the van out there. I think we made a mistake. I mean, I made a mistake. And got another van, and I think it's too small for what we do. So we're in need for a large conversion van instead of this small one. It's not doing the job. So pray about that. She's going to introduce the next song. The next song really doesn't need a lot of introduction because it's one we've been singing for years and years and years and years and years, way before any of us that's been here before. Um, it's called How Great Thou Art, and what a song with a message. And we'll be singing verses 1 and 4 if you need to follow along or sing along in your hymnal. It's page 33. Now this arrangement is going to be a little different for you all. He likes to take his keyboard and take songs from the hymnal and just add different music to it. Sometimes he'll change the song up a little bit, but this one's pretty basic, except for the instrumentation. So we want you all to sing along with us. <coughs> You can stand if you want. I'm gonna, not going to make you stand all the time. But if you all want to, that's one thing I forgot to say at the beginning. This is our service as a group. If you want to stand, if you want to sit, you know, just whatever the Lord leads you to do. <clears throat>
during that recording, I don't sing soprano at all. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of down in here. But uh, the one song he had me sing soprano, oh, no, that was another. <laughs> It wasn't that guy. It was another album that we did. He had me sing soprano for a whole song. My head hurt so bad till I was done. It was like, oh my goodness. Okay, this next song is in your hymnals. Pages, page 250, verses 1 and 4. And it's called When We All Get to Heaven. I don't know about you, but I am so excited for that day. Yeah, amen. I have loved ones that have gone on before me and can't wait to see them Amen. and uh, just my number one thing is I can't wait to see Jesus you know he went to the cross for me and sometimes that's so hard to believe I can be pretty stubborn and not want to listen when he tells me to do things but he snaps me out of that pretty quick, you know. It's like, I know what's best for you. You follow my guidance, and you'll be fine. Blind man, I wonder. 
1973, I took Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. And I remember back in those days, I was involved in the church I was going to and everything. I was a Sunday school teacher for special people, as a choir director, uh, janitor. I did help make food, sandwiches. I do plays. I was assistant gym teacher in the Christian Academy, and I was helping to take the choir out to the nursing homes and close in, closed ins, and that kind of thing. So that's where I started from, and so I'm still here, still loving the Lord, and still on fire for Him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And Thank you, Lord. Main goal is to reach others for Jesus. But the big thing happened in '73. I knew something was wrong. God had been talking to me for a long time. And one night, while watching television, I had a gospel track in my pocket. i would read it many times before. But something changed this night. And the gospel track and I went upstairs. The bedroom shut the door, got on my knees, and read the whole thing again. But what did I do different this time? I signed it. I signed it. I'm going to be for real this time, Lord. I believe that you died for me. And then it was time to make it a change. Old things pass away and all things become new. Amen. And he delivered me from smoking, Amen. drinking, Amen. swearing, Amen. and the rest I don't want to tell you about. I was pretty bad. I can tell you this. Back in the 60s, the police were always chasing me. Most of the time didn't catch me, but I was pretty darn bad, and I am not proud of that. Amen. It's hard to believe that he loved me, yeah. that he could change me, and I want to reach others for him. Thank you, Lord. All I want to do is reach others. I want to see these altars filled again. Yeah. With people giving their life to Jesus. Amen. With people changing their lives. Amen. With people looking up to Jesus instead of looking down at the Amen. devil. Instead of being depressed all their life. Amen. And to have a life of Christ. Living for him. Living for Jesus day to day. I am. Well, it, you know we shouldn't lie. Amen. Amen. But. But I got to start with a lie to tell the truth because it, it's sort of mixed. And that is, I wanted to tell my age that I'm, I'm, I'm 39. <laughs> now I'll tell you the truth. Now I say 39 because that's what I feel. I feel younger than that even. I'm 68. I'll be 69 in October. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. God is good. Yes. All the Amen. time. Amen. And that's Amen. why we sang about that. She yes. just recently had an operation, which I keep forgetting what it's called. It's called. It's minor. A heart catheterization. She had a heart, heart catheterization. And I was in the waiting room, and she was just killing me going through all that stuff. I can't stand the hospital. <laughs> so I was having a rough time. She just laying there taking and getting poked, you know. They just wanted to poke her and stick it up her veins, you know. She did really good. She was a trooper, and God kept me from passing out. So that was a good thing. But she recovered real quick, and they found her to be good. To be good. Yep. All right. Okay. This next song is, uh, uh, well, she'll introduce it. We're going to do two choruses, and I'm sure you both all know both of them. Uh, the first one is This is the Day the Lord Has Made. And the second one is What a Mighty God We Serve.
chorus. It's like it's a song, but we don't do the song, we just do the chorus. Is this one here? Because he lives. Yeah. I can face, we can face tomorrow. Yeah. Because he lives all fear is gone. gone. Because I know <laughs> he holds the future. And life is worth the living. Just. Yes. Are you catching the last part of that line? Just. Just. Because he lives. So let's sing this like we mean it. <clears throat> CD, the same equipment. We actually had this thing in my dining room for the past <laughs> week or so, and uh, everything goes smoothly. Well, tonight the CD is deciding it's going to skip on us. So, we're going on to the next song. So, let's just tell the devil to get out of here, and we're going to sing Standing on the Promises. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Yeah. 
you guys heard him say, we're going to take a break, that we were only halfway through, <laughs> and that you're going to be sitting here for a long time yet. Well, this is our last song, and we're going to ask you to stand and turn to page 554. We're singing four verses of It Is Well With My Soul with you all. It's our prayer tonight that uh, whatever is on your mind, whatever you're struggling with, you can turn that over to God. Let it all be well with your soul. Be at peace. You know, too many years I tried to do things on my own. I thought, hey, I've got this. I can take care of it. I can work it out. I can do this. I can do that. No, I can't do anything. It's only through God. He gives us the power. He gives us the strength. He's already supplied his son who gave his blood. The altar's open. Anything that's on your heart, your mind, health, finances, relationships, turn it all over to God tonight. Yeah, amen.